why your AI content sucks, no one will read it, and Google may not even index it, and what to do about it. Hi, I'm Kyle Roof, international spy and gentleman of leisure. Today, I wanna to talk about the SEO elephant in the room. That's right, content creation with AI. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you do bad SEO, AI is just gonna help you do bad SEO faster. And don't get me wrong, AI has some great benefits and I'll get to that in a moment. But let's stop for a minute and break down why AI can be terrible for the majority of content creators and inexperienced SEOs. First, it makes us lazy. AI gives us effortless contest creation with the push of a button, but that inherently lowers the bar and our personal standards. Make no mistake, effortless does not equal quality. Second, people assume that AI writing tools are intelligent and capable of creating original, engaging, high quality content. Well, this couldn't be further from the truth. Essentially, what you get with AI is a very, very wide lens of the semantic lexicon. This can be absolutely helpful for high level or one-on-one -on -one level content creation, but when you need expert status articles, like for helpful content, or eat, you'll miss the mark almost every time. Last, AI doesn't replace personal experience. If you previously weren't a good writer, AI does not automatically make you Stephen King or Kyle Roof for that matter. This point reminds me of a quote from the amazing copywriter Kevin Meng. Just because you have an autopilot doesn't mean you can fly a plane. Just take a look at Google's response to AI content. While Google is embracing the use of AI and it isn't against the guidelines to use AI generated content, weeding out poor quality regurgitated content is what the HCU is all about. Google's now faced with their biggest unforeseen challenge to date. They have to spend a vast amount of resources meeting unuseful, unhelpful content that adds next to no value for its users. There's no denying it, we can't put the AI genie back in the bottom. However, the SEOs at POP realize the power of AI, but we're most interested in bridging the gap between our skills and the benefits of the tool itself. Our aim is to enhance your skill set, not replace it with AI. That's why we're continually refining POP's AI writer tool, so you can harness the productivity of AI without sacrificing your personal touch, expertise, and unique perspective. So the developers at POP stepped in to create the best of both worlds. Introducing, drum roll please, POP Custom Content. This new POP feature is the perfect balance of using AI to help create content based on the guidance of your expertise. Here are some of the highlights. It's approximately 50 times faster than manually writing. It leverages what GPT is really good at. The output is excellent, human-influenced quality writing, and we keep it on a very tight leash. There are no hallucinations here. And the best news is, even if you're new to content creation or SEO, POP custom content will get you started off the right way using AI, so you don't develop bad habits and solely rely on AI to make all of your content decisions for you. So to sum it all up before we jump into a tutorial, POP custom content is hands down the most intuitive and accurate tool for SEOs and content creators looking to create high quality content at scale with uniqueness and accuracy. When it comes to content optimization, you get more than a tool that checks arbitrary boxes. You get a purpose-built application designed by SEOs for SEOs and content creators. Let's take a look at POP custom content in action. Okay, so let's fire up POP and head over to the AI writer for the article you want to optimize, or you can start a new article from scratch. Generally, I like to start with the target word count. The reason is the output is better and the AI writer will have more words to work with. Ultimately, this positions your content to get a better optimization score. Next, select your web page type, blog post, article, etc whatever best suits your content. This next step is getting into a bit of the secret sauce for your AI content. Here you can exclude specific words. AI has a tendency to repeat specific words, specifically for certain niches and industries. This is where you can curb the repetitiveness and avoid reader fatigue. Taking your time on this step helps your AI content come out much more authentic sounding compared to your competitors who are not doing this. After you enter your exclusion terms, you can take it a step further and tweak the voicing of your content by adding tone, author, and brand qualifiers. Next, we'll generate the search engine title and page title. I always like to keep both options here because I want the AI to use both my title for inspiration and use my competitors as well to give me the most options to create a unique title. And for the subheadings, I'll do the same. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. At this step, you can see we have two options, quick content and custom content. So for speed, quick content, it's gonna be your best friend. It's also what you're going to use when you need to write an article from scratch. This is going to instruct the AI to generate the main content using your desired keywords and related terms. If you're shooting for higher quality, then you're definitely going to want to use the custom content option. And here's the thing to note about the custom content option. It's taking your previously written content and using it as a baseline to expand upon, thereby making the quality much, much higher. And here's a pro tip. You can also use this to rewrite your competitor's content. This is just another example of how you can quickly reverse engineer and scale your own content with this tool. You can now take the top ranking article, 
run it through the custom content option, and then edit the output with your own expertise. Now, to really get the best output from Pop Custom Content, you're gonna to wanna to have around 250 words per paragraph to feed into the AI. In this example, it's calling for 243. You wanna do this so it has good contextual understanding and can rewrite your content while distributing additional keywords into the paragraph. At this stage, there are three settings to help you dial in your content. Minimal, medium, and maximum revisions. So what is the use case for each? Minimal, you'll use this when your content is very solid and you just need help getting an edge to mix in a few keywords. The AI will not change the intent, meaning, or order of the sentences. Rather, it will naturally incorporate your keywords into your existing paragraphs to make it optimized. Medium, this one is probably my favorite. And for most people, it's gonna be the best of both worlds. With this option, the AI will rewrite whole paragraphs, add in your keywords, and avoid outputting duplicate content. So what are the use cases for this? Better content, case studies, audio transcripts, really whatever you want for the topic you are covering. Finally, maximum revision is used when you have statistical data and you need AI to create content around this information. The primary use case here is if you have your own proprietary data or specific numbers that the AI might not know, it will create content around this specific data source. Lastly for this section, if you don't have any content and leave a section blank, AI will just generate the content on its own. So let me show you what this looks like in action. You click here and then you'll see the pop brings up your content and your top three competitors content. If you haven't built your page yet, then you'll only see your competitors paragraphs. What you do from here is click on the paragraph that you want the AI to rewrite. We wanted to minimize the user effort in this section so there isn't a copy and paste function. You simply click on the paragraph to select it for the tool to rewrite. An additional feature that is really helpful is once you click on a paragraph and add it to be rewritten, it is removed from the subsequent steps and prevents you from accidentally adding the same paragraph to another section of your article. Once you've gone through and completed all the sections, click rewrite with AI and Pop generates your output and it's ready for you to download. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you inside Pop.